whether you just got a new 3D printer or you've had one for years. Sometimes you need to print something useful to prove that these machines aren't just for printing toys. So today I'm going to show off seven projects that are more on the functional side of things. You won't find any fidget toys on this list, but let me know if you do want to see that kind of video in the future. Today I 3D printed undermounted desk drawers. Luckily I was warned by one of you in a comment that they are difficult to mount, so I knew what I was getting into. I started by using a carpenter square to help align the first bracket, and that did help a bit. Pre-drilling the holes may also have made things easier, but I'm not that fancy. Then you have to hold the drawer in place while you align the next bracket. I did that a few times until I got three drawers. As with all my videos, STL link is in the description and pinned comment, so you can print this out yourself. I printed out two drawers with holes and one solid drawer for smaller things that won't fall out. How well you mount it will determine how strong they are and how smoothly they slide. Today I made the Bamboo P1P and Creality K1 work together to make a small desk organizer. This is a two-part desk organizer that has so many little features. I chose speckled white for the base and speckled black for the top. I think they make a great looking pair. While it may be small, it can still hold on to a lot of things. Four full-size USB-A, three SD cards, and three micro SD cards. These middle slots can be useful for pins or markers or tweezers. And this wide backspace I'm going to be using to hold a pair of snips, because I always need these nearby. And the removable base also works great as a parts tray, to stop small parts or screws from rolling away from you while you're working on something. And while I print all of these designs, it helps to have a comfortable chair. And a huge thank you to FlexiSpot for sending over their C7 Max. My old chair was falling apart, and since I spend a lot of time sitting behind a computer, getting a good ergonomic chair was super important to me. It's got height adjustment, which they say works for people from 5'7 all the way to 6'9. It has a recline feature for lounging around and can even be locked in place. I use this feature a lot more than I probably should. You can even add on a folding footrest if you don't like kicking your feet up onto your desk. The foam cushion is multi-layer for a firm and springy seat that should last for years. They do have mesh seat options that matches the back. Mesh is great for keeping you cool while sitting down. It's got back adjustment to fit your unique back perfectly. It's got an adjustable headrest, which is really comfortable to lean against. It's got very adjustable armrests, so you can sit however you want and your arms are always supported. The lumbar support here is adjustable and very comfortable. It makes me use a proper sitting posture, so I feel so much better at the end of the day. If you are shopping for a new chair, be sure to use my code C730 on the C7 Max to receive a $30 discount. I will have that code and a link in the description down below. And a huge thank you to FlexiSpot for saving my back and sponsoring this video. And now on to print number three, a fully 3D printed PC case. This is a fully 3D printed PC case. These sides are made from transparent PETG, which really gives a boost to the RGB fun. It fits in a full-sized ATX motherboard, but all of the parts can be printed on a printer as small as the A1 Mini. Assembly is easy with only a few required parts. The GPU did end up being too long, so I just cut out this hole in the front, but it actually works great as a GPU support. But now these decorative front panels don't fit anymore. I'll have to figure something out later. Another big benefit of 3D printing the case is that the air path is just 3D printed infill, so you could select whatever pattern or density you want, which really makes this a unique case. This case was designed by Maker Unit. check out more of his designs on his channel, and I have linked to his STLs in the description. This is both a fun Pac-Man ghost and a useful 3D printed trash can. I like that it's both fun and functional. I needed another trash bin to put near some 3D printers, because there's always little bits of scrap around. I use the Lulzbot because it's amazing at quickly melting plastic. It doesn't need to move fast when the layers are extra thick 1mm tall ones like this. The volume printed per second beats out all of my other 3D printers. This design is so cool how it uses the triangles in a way to make a 3D ghost look like the 2D ghost but from any angle. The eyes have a bit of overhang issue, but I won't let a few mistakes ruin how awesome this is. I may have to make a full color set of these to put around my studio. STL link in description to print your own. Yeah. 
I just finished installing the best new organization system that you can 3D print. This is Multiboard, the new system by Jonathan over at the Keep Making YouTube channel. I just love how modular this system is. I wanted to mount my Nintendo Switch and accessories below the TV, and with this, I can move things around to store them perfectly how I want them. If I need more hooks or bins in the future, I'll just print out new ones. And this is really only scratching the surface of what could be printed with this system. Today I 3D printed a functional analog clock using the project kit that came with my Bamboo A1 3D printer. This has all the hardware required and everything else is 3D printed. I chose this simple dot model designed by Datum CAD Studio, link in description. But there's also so many other designs out there that work with this kit. I've really enjoyed having a simple analog clock like this on my desk. It's a good visual representation for the passing of time while I procrastinate finishing this video. But I guess you are currently watching this video, so the clock must have got me to finish it. So I'm kind of on a kick now of printing really fun 3D printed coasters, and I thought this was an amazing model. This is another really fun free 3D printed model. It allows you to create some multicolored prints on any 3D printer. So now if the day calls for rain, you can switch to using your wet tire compound coaster and you're ready for anything. This keeps your drinks off the table and lets everyone know you watch Drive to Survive. If you want to watch more of these projects, be sure to subscribe and watch more things I have printed on my YouTube Shorts. If you have watched this far of the video, thank you so much, and be sure to let me know in the comments what you think about this style format. Go out there, create something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.